All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you a very common problem on these Smart M600 series smart boards. These are the kinds that have the four cameras in the corner. It uses optical technology to sense where your finger or the pen is. Problem is, these little interface boards, the USB connector is only soldered in at two places, so it breaks off all the time, and you just got to replace the whole board. So this one's broken, got a replacement board right here. I'm going to show you how to replace the board itself and how to do the calibration process. So here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is mark which one of these uh, ribbon connectors are which so you don't mix them up. And then you got to remove the old board, put the new one in, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All right, so I marked the connectors, just the top ones on each side, so I know where they go. Two screws, take the old board out, toss it. Here's what comes in the kit. New board, small Phillips to attach the board right here. And then you got your anti-static wrist strap, construction, and your air hockey tool. And I'll show you what to do with that in just a minute. All right, so I got the new board in place. You can see this one's got, got the this new one's got the USB connector on it. Uh, got all your my flat connectors put back in place in the proper spot. All I got to do is put the cover back on, rehang it on the track system, and then align it with that projector. And we'll go from there. All right, so now that we got the board hung back in place, we just need to make our connections on the DSP control. Got our pin tray. Ugh, can you see that? Pin tray, USB, carefully inserted, and our external power supply. So that's where all those go. Then we'll just have to line this up and uh, figure out where the cord went and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so when you first power on one of these that has a new interface board, you're going to see all lights on on the pen tray and that means it's un completely uncalibrated. So what you're going to need to do is probably update the firmware and then you're going to have to take the serial number wherever it is on this board. I'll have to find it in a minute. And uh, enter it into the controller and then run it through the calibration process. So let me try updating the firmware on this thing. And uh, you can just use your smart firmware updater, which is included with your product drivers package. See if it finds it. If not, I may just have to do the calibration with an older version of firmware. So let me see. It says no smart products found. Let me try one more time here. All right, so it looks like you have to enter the smart barcode first, which is the one on the back of the board, of course. So I don't know if this will work. It should work. Let's see. All right, so now it's saying that the firmware versions don't match, so let me try exiting this. And now I'm going to try doing the firmware update. 
This looks like you have to set the uh, serial number first before you can do the firmware upgrade. All right, so this one's on 7.2.3.0, or 7.2.31, and the available one is 7.2.48, so we'll go ahead and do a little update on that. Update, yeah, so the, the FRU software that you download to do this calibration is all dependent on the firmware version. So it either has to, it has to match the firmware version that's on the controller. So you'll need to make sure that you enter the serial number, then upgrade the firmware on the controller to the latest, then make sure you download the latest FRU software, uh, calibration software. All right, firmware upgrade successful. And I'll hit finish. Computer should at least see it now. So you see it does see see it on here. So there's the little uh, what is that? Exclamation mark, I think. Yeah, which indicates it's connected but not calibrated. So now we'll go back to our FRU software and we'll say start, and we'll see if it does it successfully this time. Oop, I think I need to get rid of that. Oop. Let's see, start one more time. And basically what it's doing is aligning the cameras to the grid on the smart board. Now ideally, your projected image should fill the entire smart board Otherwise, it's possible that it won't work right. Um, these projectors were not installed far enough back just because of the way the ceiling grid was laid out to make that happen. So we can make this work. Um, it may just be less accurate than ideal. And this is where your little puck comes in handy because what you have to do is start here, run it all the way across, and make sure that you fill up all the squares and all of the little uh, radial things in the corner. It looks like I missed one, so let's see if I can just fill that up. And then the last thing you have to do is you have to draw this pattern on the board hard to do while holding a camera but it should turn green when it recognizes that shape and then you want to do a cross like so whoops didn't get that one And it passed, so let me say pass. So all that's now been encoded into that little board. So we say exit, and then we can go into our smart settings. And we can go into our tools and our diagnostics. And open up the board toolbar and click on calibration. And we'll do our initial calibration all along here. Whoops. I don't know if it'll be happy about that or not. And then we do our traditional four dot calibration. And boop. So we should be good now. Cool. Looks like it's working as it should now. And let's see if we hit an ink color. We should get smart ink to pop up. Yep. 
There we go. So that's it. That is how you replace the DSP board and calibrate a Smart M600 series Smart Board. Uh, any questions, leave them down in the comments for me. And uh, like and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.